Welcome back to Tada 3D Printing. So after printing the sheep on the MMU, I really wanted to print something that had all five colors. So I found this Philly the Prusa Slicer Assistant, and it's a pretty short print, so I thought it would be a good test to see how my MMU does. I downloaded the 3MF file because I really wanted to see how it looks in Slicer with all of the different colors. And in the details, it does tell you which colors are going to be which. So I was able to load the filament with those colors, orange, white, light gray. I don't have a dark gray. I went with silver and then I did black. When I opened it in Prusa Slicer, for some reason, it gave me the profile of the MMU2. Um, I'm not really sure why that is, but I went in and deleted all of the other um, copies. I'm not sure why there's so many. I mean, I guess it would be fun to print a whole bunch of keychains. Of course, it's only going to print the one that's on the print bed, but I just wanted to kind of look at it and make sure that I didn't have any issues. So I switch it to the correct profile, the MMU3. I'm kind of surprised at all of the different areas here on the side that are listed as orange, all the different colors. It seems like there is a lot of little parts that are the different colors. And then I usually just use the generic PLA profile, so I went through and swapped all of those. And I like that it had the information over here on the left of what color each of the extruder is so that I can make sure that I put everything in the right order. All of this together, the print will take just about an hour and a half. It got through a couple of colors and then needed me to help it out. The first time all I had to do was retry and the second time I didn't see it, I had gone to bed. So it sat overnight. And then the next morning, I did try to click the retry and it's just kind of stuck in the tube there. This also gives me a chance to show you the setup that I have for the MMU now. I moved it from that original table to a 48 inch deep table. I've got the buffer on the right hand side, which is not super ideal. Um, I probably can swap it to the left side. So maybe I'll mess with that a little bit. And the filament does work behind it, but it's not quite wide enough if I just had the table. Um, I'm probably going to put them below or above is what I'm thinking, but I just wanted to make sure that it's working before I start making too many modifications. I unload the filament and it does unload, but it won't load back in. So I need to probably pull the filament out and maybe cut the very end is what I'm thinking. Maybe just the tip on this filament didn't, wasn't the right angle. I am still in the habit of cutting everything at a really sharp one angle. I'm, I know that when I loaded these, I did try to make them a little bit more pointy, but you can see that the filament is getting kind of caught. Uh, the motor made a little notch on this, so it wasn't even necessarily the end. When, when you have that going on, it's not going to load. So I need to cut that part off and just kind of redo the end again. And this is normally how I would leave it and load in all the other Prusas, but this one I do have to go back and almost make like another cut. So I've just got like one sharp edge and I try to make one more cut on the other side so that it's more of a point. I don't know how easy it is to see that. Now I get the really fun part of loading the filament back through the tube. At least with this I can you know just pull it out with the cassette. I don't have to pull it all the way out um, so I'm only really reloading one side. And then I do click the load and as soon as it gets heated you can see that the MMU starts to move and you can hear it starting to load. And then I can put the cassette back in the buffer and go ahead and click retry and see if this gets printing again. It takes it a few seconds while it says feeding to the sensor, but it does look like it's continuing to move and starts printing. I hadn't looked at all the steps in the Prusa slicer. It looks like it prints white on the inside, which I guess will save time overall. I don't have any more errors and it's finished. The first layer that prints turned out really smooth and it looks really cool with all those different colors. But it's interesting on the other side that it printed almost like multiple levels, which is a little bit more like I would think 
you would print if you didn't have the MMU. But it does look nice to be able to see the color all the way through on the sides. And the first layer turned out way better than I was expecting. For such a short print, um, the perch tower seems kind of big to me, kind of like it takes up a big footprint. Um, and I don't know if it's normal that it looks a little bit spotty on both sides. I don't know if maybe that was some of my errors, but overall, I'm really happy with it. Let me know your thoughts on this print and overall on the MMU3 and what you think I should print next. Thanks for watching.